Hey, listen up. I want to give a thank you to the members of Napalm. You are the sponsors of this channel, and thank you for your support. I think you are interested in becoming a member, so strap on your gear, equip your weapon, and cast the spell of awesome by clicking join down below the video for options. And I want to give a very special thank you to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code, Jared Woodhouse, Dimelos, Farthest Reach, Sparrow, Christopher Hensel, Random Rob, Kenneth Kramer, Zelik Lived, Rodney Mom, and Greenhouse. Thank you for your highest tier membership. Oh, I was on mute. It's a late night stream, guys. Welcome. We're going to... So, here's the deal. <laughs> Once I start this program, because I already tested it, I can't go back. So, i got to make sure everything's set up properly. Desktop audio looks good. It may be a little loud. Let me bring that down just a little bit here. I think that will probably be good. All we're worried about here is the background music and sound effects. So, I'm going to put it there. That should be good. And we're going to start up Oblivion, guys. So... I haven't played this in a really long time. I did kind of test it out recently. Um, I think it came with like my PS4 membership, something or the other. Uh, I don't remember. But I played it just long enough to be like, dude, this was a cool RPG. So that's what we're going to do. Without much further ado here, uh, audio looks good. Let me make sure chat's pulled up. What's up, Vaughn? Working on them night moves. I'm trying, man. Let's see what we got with the Oblivion, guys. Let's see if we can have some fun. Because, you know what? This series got kind of... Uh, it got kind of, how to say, less nerdy, um, you know, with Skyrim, etc. Still sound good, guys, with the music before I before I actually start the game. Because once I start it, there's no, like, uh, uh, you know, window mode, uh, full screen type thing. It's just full screen or bust, apparently. Uh, this game's really old, so um, I did get the resolution right and tested all that. But um, hopefully with the you can still hear me good. Uh, here we go, guys. I'm going to hit play. Here we go. See what old Oblivion's got these days. Still looking for that Pantheon Alpha invite? Uh, dude, if you do find one, I would hope that I'd be the first one you would contact and let me know. Matter of fact, when that day comes, I'm going to be hunting you down. Like, you got it, right? You found it? You finally got it? Alright, it's loading here, guys. Um, it takes a second. I've already tested this. Just to make sure, because some of these old games, man, they're they're a little wonky to run um, with dual monitors sometimes. So it should it should work, should be working. Um, but it does take a little minute here for whatever reason. Here it comes. Here we go. Good old Oblivion, man. But yeah, this one's a lot nerdier than Skyrim. There's a lot more stats. There's a lot more, like, class class options. And uh, I was going to actually stream Skyrim tonight. And I was like, you know what? You know what? Everybody's seen enough of Skyrim. You know? We've seen enough. Let's do a little bit of Oblivion. Let's go a little old school. Maybe not as old school as Morrowind. But let's go a little old school here. All right. Can't skip, apparently. Alright, so I've already set up my options, I think. So we're going to start up a new game. Oh yeah, this game just straight dumps you in, doesn't it? Yep, yep, yep. Actually, that's how they usually do it, now that I think about it. I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. Mm. Feel you, bro. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. Feels very Lord of the Rings, this one, I feel like. No, no, Vows, it's not over then. Then you gotta start asking me about the beta invite. You know what I'm saying? It don't end there, my friend. 
This is the 27th of last seed. The year of Akatosh. I do not play. It's a lie. I hardly These ever play retail. Wow. Of the third era. I do, but and just very rarely. Hours of my life. Oh, Max Telf. I love their theme song. It's so good, dude. It almost brings a tear to my eye. This was a good game, dude. I played the crap out of this game. I think this is one of the few games that actually got all the achievements. And I actually played this originally on the 360. I owned it on PC first. My PC didn't... It ran it okay. And then I got it on 360. And really, I'm doing, I got every achievement. I did all the expansions. I, lo I, I really got into this one. A mage drops from the sky to his death. No, that's Morrowind. I love Morrowind, dude. That's Morrowind, Vaughn. I love that. That's such a cool thing out in the forest. It's like at the beginning of the game. Uh, this is an unmodded for now. Now, if the, if the video does good and, uh, you know, the stream does good, etc., um, then, you know, we'll bump it up. You know what I mean? Morrowind is really good, but it's 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 really outdated. It is. I've tried to play it, and it's a little... Yeah, it gives you motion sickness. Never tried this one, but I used to watch my daughter play, and I remember this opening. So good. All right, so what kind of race are we going to pick? We're going to be a male... Imperial, we got... Oh, the Khajiit look weird, dude. <laughs> dude, that looks weird to me now. Uh, the Nord, yep. Yeah. Orc, whoa, the Orcs look weird to me now, too. Look at that. Whoa, it's freaking me out. That that looks weird. Red Guards look good. What else? Eh. Argonian. Looks about normal. Bretons. Uh, let me see here. Perceptive Spellcraft. You know how much you bust resistance to magical energies. Oh, particularly skilled at summoning and healing. Got the Dark Elf here. High Elf. Imper I may just go Imperial. Don't they get a boost to, like, talking to people that prove to be shrewd diplomats and traitors? They're skilled with heavy armor and the social skills and tend to favor the warrior classes. I'm going to go with that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the Imperial. That's what I thought. Uh, wait a minute. How do you... Okay. All right. Here we go. Face. Thanks for the sub, by the way. Played a little Skyrim and a lot of ESO. I love the Argonians. I'm a fan of those when I play a rogue type. God is good. Wish I had more to... Hey, don't worry about it, Graham. I'm not here to, like, uh, push that. You 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 contribute a ton, dude. Don't worry about it. Um, saturation is a bit too high. I can fix that. Actually, let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like because it'll actually close the game if I try to fix it. Let's see how this goes. Maybe it'll look better when I get in the game. It is showing... It does look really high saturation, doesn't it? It looks like abnormally high, doesn't it? All right, I'm going to try to alt-tab, guys. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Just let me go over here. Let me just go over here and try to fix this real quick. Um, let's see here. Let's see if I can fix that for you guys. Properties. Nope, that's not right. Hang on, let me fix that saturation, guys. Give me one second. Here it is, here it is. Let me fix that so you guys can enjoy it. Let's see. Hopefully that did it. Let's see. Let me do one more thing just to make sure it's fixed. Sorry, guys. I just don't want it to look like crap. Um, there we go. That should do it. That should do it. Now, it might have broke the game, though. We may have to reload. Oh, sweet. It stayed. All right. Whoops. Except for I didn't pull up chat. Oh, crap. Don't break. Here we go. Here we go. This should look better. Let's check this out. I'm still at it, Crinkled. Your EQ streams really bring me back. I'm trying to convince my wife to go back to EQ from WoW. All right. All right. All right. That that does look a lot better, it looks like to me, guys. You guys agree that looks a little better? Um, let's make it what he looks like. We can fix his face. Okay, we can smush him. Or He looks a little better elongated. Um, okay, everybody just looks kind of weird. <laughs> Dude, you can't make some weird characters in this game, huh? All right, all you know what everybody just looks kind of ugly in this one. I do remember that. Um, about there, maybe. Brow. Put it about there. 
Yeah, let's bring that down a little bit. All right, and what do we got here? Okay, okay, the outer ridge. Let's bring it up a little bit. There we go, there we go. He's looking He's looking just fine. I'm just going to leave the cheeks alone. Chin. Well. Do about there. He needs his chin to be out a little bit. No, no, no. We need a, we need a bigger chin. He's going to have a decent sized chin here. Make it a little taller. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Eyes. Okay, this is getting weird. All right. Feels like all the options just make it weirder. Just feels like it's just making everything really weird. All right, forehead. I'm gonna leave the forehead alone. All right, uh, shape, tone, beard. Here we go. This one. This is what I'm talking about. Doesn't the beard really suck in this game? It does. Look, it's just like a shading. It's like a shading effect here. Uh, this is really weird. All right, let's darken it up a little bit. That's it. That's. That's the beard options. That's all we got. Uh, lips do look a little, uh, look a little off, don't they? Okay. All right. Whatever. Uh, can I do the hair? Where's the hair? Eyes, eyebrows, lips, nose, skin. Where's the, uh, oh, here we go. Hair. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got. Let's do the blue black and let's uh loose gathered ponytail oh, that's not too bad um nope 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 that's the haircut i'm gonna do if pantheon doesn't release uh cropped eh. windbound oiled rogue knot wait what was it rogue knot oh that's not bad either thinning military Natural. Okay, we're back at the beginning now. Yeah. So I guess I guess that rogue knot actually looks it's kind of my favorite. Yeah, that looks good. Let's play with the hair color here a little bit. Let me give him a little gray hair. What else we got here? Satin blonde. Let's go with this charcoal. It looks a little graying. He looks he looks like an esteemed gentleman. I don't really like whatever's going on here, but I'll I'll deal with it. All right. Now eyes. Let's go green. For Eridun, eh, yeah, okay. Age, young, old. We're gonna go right in the middle here, about there. Complexion. Oh, why is it changing the shape of his face? It's like vampire. So we're just gonna go there. It's weird that it changes the shape of his face. Okay, now we gotta give him a name. All right, we're gonna name him. Why is my keyboard not working? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Come on! It won't let me type his name. Okay, yeah, I, I'm trying to name him here. What? I can't name my guy. What? what kind of glitch is this? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. Let's try to go in another option and back out. Oh my gosh, his name won't type. This is the weirdest glitch I've ever seen. I can't even play the game. Are you serious? Nothing. This old man has to go to bed. All right, CB, have a good night, man. How the heck are you supposed to... This is unbelievable. I mean... <laughs> what? Dude. What is wrong with this game? I can't I can't enter my name. Anybody else know this glitch? This is craziness. Literally can't type. Turn on caps lock, turn off caps lock. What is going on here? Uh well I can't go to another screen. That's a problem. The game's so old that it doesn't have a window mode. I would name him anything if it would let me start the game. Life of Ryan, thanks for the super chat. So glad to see you playing Oblivion. It's such a good game. Happy Friday, my friend. Happy Friday, chat. Cringe Pony tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not, Life of Ryan. Cringe Pony may get delayed, uh, depending on filming, because uh, it is a hefty one. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy, guys. Hang on. Let me alt-tab it. Hope it don't break. I'm going to go over to another screen. Okay. Then I'm going to go back. Come on. Come on now, Oblivion.
I might have to look up this problem, guys. I might have to look it up. It won't let me type. I can't put the freaking name. I can't start the game without putting in the name. It's a problem with playing old games sometimes, man. Stuff just randomly doesn't work. Oblivion can't enter name. Looks like apparently a pretty common problem. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta freaking be kidding me. You got to manually change the keyboard setting in a newly generated Oblivion.ini according to this guide, and there's a whole guide to do it. You got to be kidding me. You have got to freaking be kidding me right now. So apparently, I'm going to have to... This is crazy, dude. I, I, the stuff like this is totally unacceptable. The, the, you sell the game and it doesn't work. All right. A result of control peripheral editing the oblivion.ini may correct this issue. Okay. First of all, this is a pain in the butt right here. So let me get, let me see if I can fix it. Give me a second, guys. This is craziness, dude. How do you... How... You know, this is bullcrap is what this is. It's unbelievable that they get away with crap like this. All right, so let me find it. Give me a second, guys. I can't believe I have to do this. This is nuts. Uh, let me find my file here. Oh my goodness, dude. This is unbelievable. Let's see if I can find this file. Shoot, I guess I better do it so you guys can see in case other people are watching and you want to play it too. You're going to have to do the same thing. So Steam Apps, um, where is it? I haven't had it even go in here. Common, I think. Yeah, here we go. All right, now let's find Oblivion. Okay, and we're going to find the .ini file. I don't know how I'm going to tell which one is which. Properties, perhaps. Uh, that's the exec, uh, the execute file. So is that... What's this? There it is. Alright, so we're going to have to open this. Alright, now let's see what we got to do here. In the control section... Okay, let's see here. In the control <laughs> section, let's find that. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, is this it? Yeah, here's controls. Okay. Change the B use joystick equals one. Let's find that. B use joystick. So if anybody wants to play this on Steam at least, you're going to have to do what I'm doing here. B use joystick one and change it to zero. Is that it? Okay. Save. Alright. According to this, that will fix it. We'll probably have to restart the game. Yep. Alright, well, guess what? We can't even get out of this menu. What a pain in the butt. I swear we'll get to play in a minute. Let's go down here, close it. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if that fixes it. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Numa Lung. Bethesda's a triple A game developer. I know, dude. Can you believe this crap? This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Appreciate it. I uh, see you guys were trying to. Uh, Help me out there. Yeah, the delay makes it hard for you guys to help. Control F, what is that for, by the way? This is Windows' answer <laughs> to what playing games in Linux feels like. <laughs> All right, hopefully that fixed it. It's just a stupid common, apparently happens to almost everybody issue. Uh, so at least <laughs> maybe that'll help people in the future trying to play Oblivion.
All right, please. It doesn't let you skip this either. All right, let's try this again. Thanks for that super chat, New Malone. And you are so right, dude. You're so right. It's supposed to be a AAA developer here. <laughs> can't even, can't even play their game. That, by the way, is on sale right now. That was another reason. I was like, you know what? I don't know if I'd advise it yet. Let's see if it works. A great game if I get a start, though. I love this game. And if that doesn't work, I may try, uh... I may just try to turn on a controller. I really didn't want to play it that way, but... That might fix it, too. Alright. New. Yes. We're gonna go through this quickly. I don't care what my guy looks like. Just let me play the freaking game. We can't skip this, so we're gonna have to watch this again. Years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have oh, for, for searching, I got you, I got you, Crinkle. Which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the third era and the final hours of my life. Oh, the final hours of his life. Yeah, so there are two different ways to mess with the resolution. There's one out of the game, but that one didn't work at all like it didn't it wouldn't do any changes however then i messed around in the settings on the main menu and it did work however there there's no option for windowed but the other one does have it so i'm sure i can figure it out though oh you're right that was patrick stewart dude it's not all about you it's about helping the king if i remember yeah that's what i remember too now, it does turn out that you're this, you know, you're a big deal. But if I remember right, well, it kind of it kind of insinuates it through the whole thing. But generally speaking, you do feel like you're just turning around doing stuff. So we're going to go with that. Sure, he looks fine. I'm going to change his hair because it did like that rogue thing. And what was that color we liked? Uh, or I like charcoal. That's it. All right. That, yeah, that's fine. Whatever, dude. So let's play the game. Enter character name. Come on. Oh my god, it's still not working. What if I turn on my controller? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Big nothing burger. Dude, this is crazy. Am I really not going to be able to play this game? Yeah, Alt-Enter doesn't do anything in this game. I try That was one of the first things I tried. Um, Wow, guys. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I still can't play the game. This is the dumbest thing I think I have ever seen in my life. The controller doesn't do anything. Let me see here. <clears throat> Let me see something. Because I do have a NES controller right here. I do have this plugged in. If I can find where it's plugged in at, I'm going to turn it off. Give me a second here, guys. Sorry about this. Nope, it's not plugged in. That is not plugged in. So it's not that... So this is the only controller, and it wasn't even plugged in, um, or it wasn't connected. Um, and that's it. I don't have anything else. Um, this is crazy, dude. Alright. I'm going to try to look this up again. I just can't believe this is freaking happening. Oh, never mind. Here's the problem right here. It didn't save it because we were running the game. We gotta close the game and then do all that stuff I did a second ago. Oh my gosh! Bethesda, you suck! This is crazy! Holy crap! I just thought I'd be able to, you know, play your game? This is nuts! Alright, give me a second, guys. Let me go back in now that it's closed. Uh, yeah, let me try your trick there. Control-F. 
which isn't doing anything for some reason. Okay, well, never mind. Let's just go back to the folder. Thankfully, it's saved here in my recent files. Let's open it up. All right, let's go back down to controls. Uh, where was it? It's No, it did save it. It says zero. It's still not working. Isn't this just great? Maybe background keyboard? Maybe set that to one? What do you guys think? You get Patrick Stewart again, yes. I'll try Windows Tab. That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> My gosh! <laughs> It's freaking crazy. Let me check the options in here. Um, no, that's just for that. This is what I was talking about. So, um, it has a window mode. We can try it. Because I didn't do it after I changed it in the thing. We can try that too. See if that works. I don't have anything in a USB slot. That's a controller. I'm not even trying to use a controller. I just want to use the keyboard and mouse. This is all of us at some point late at night trying to get a new game to work so you can get a couple of hours in before crashing. That's right. And then you end up just frustrated trying to play the stupid game the whole time. Because they are taking people's money and not playable. Yeah, dude, this is totally not playable, man. This is nuts. Unbelievable. And this is on sale. Like, you know what I mean? It just works. That's right. That's right. It just works. Thanks, Crinkle, for being understanding everybody else. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, it looks like the window mode might have worked, though. Uh, all right, come on, man, please. Please, just let me play the game. You know what I'm saying? Just, just let me play. Oh, the keyboard. That's a smart move. I'll try that if it doesn't work. That's a, good, that's a smart move. That might cause it to have to recognize, maybe. <laughs> Dude. Dude. It's crazy. All right. <laughs> Is there any, like, controls, maybe? Mouse sensitivity? Invert Y? Swap stick controls? Okay, it looks like it knows it's on keyboard. Defaults. Reset all keyboard metrics. Yes. Just regular old, you know, regular old keyboard and mouse. You're a PC game, for God's sakes. All right. Return. Have <laughs> you tried restarting it? All right. Start new game. Yes. Again. Again. All right. I was born 87 years ago. Mm, that's what I hear. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years... Vaughn, thank you for Super I Chat. I'd like to report a robbery. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. I've been robbed. I've seen the gates of a <laughs> beyond which no waking eye may see. <laughs> Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. Thanks for Super Chat, Vaughn. Appreciate it, man. Stop right there, criminal scum. I can't... I can't... Well, maybe it'll let me. I can't show it. For some reason, because you said criminal scum, YouTube... YouTube blocked you. This is the 27th of last seed. Good comment, the though. The year of Akatosh, 433. These are the closing days of the third era. And the final hours of my life. It's going to be the final hours of my life because I'm getting stressed out because the game won't work. There's probably a mod for this game called Make Oblivion Work. Thank you, Vaughn. 
Alright. We're almost... We're halfway to goal, and I haven't even gotten to play the game yet. <laughs> Alright. Work. Oh my gosh, you have got... Okay, I'm gonna try... I don't even know which USB this is. Uh, this might take a second. Let me figure out where my keyboard is. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try putting it in a new USB slot. I will be right back. All right, let's see here. Did it kick me off? Because I did. I did jostle to loose my. Uh, I don't know if you guys are still here. Let me see. Am I still live? Yep. Looks like I am. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. So you guys are still there? I'm still alive because I did rip out my Ethernet. I'm not sure if it uh, if it knocked the stream off or not. Script extender that expands memory so the game doesn't crash as often. Well, uh, yeah, but I can't get past this. Um, look at this. No name typing allowed. This is the crappiest thing. Okay, I'm still here. Okay, cool. Well, that's cool because I actually literally lost internet for a second because I ripped the ethernet cord out by accident. Um, guys, I can't believe this. We're not going to be able to play the game. I, I cannot freaking believe this is the state of the game i'm even following on bethesda's website where it says if you're experiencing keyboard input issues in oblivion and i did the thing which was change the bu's joystick and it still doesn't work it says i have to enter a name this is the craziest thing I have ever seen in my life, dude. And this is an old problem. Some of these forum posts are from 2018. Two thousand eighteen, dude. I'm seeing people talking about the same problem. Uh, how do you verify your cash on Steam? That's the other thing people say. I don't even know how to freaking do that. I'm reading what people are saying. If you're on Steam, verify cash. If that does nothing, go to your documents and delete. Oh, we could just delete it. Yeah, we could do that. Deleting my... That worked. Okay, so people are saying it worked. Alright, we're going to try that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I can't even escape out of this either. So, there's no choice but to control it, delete the bad boy. Or at least, I guess I don't have to control it, delete it. Come on. Let me just open up windows here. Come on, give me my mouse back. Give me my mouse back. That's ah, such a pain in the butt. I can't believe this crap. Give me my mouse, dude. Okay, here we go. Alright, so now I'm going to go back into the file. Uh, hang on. No, no, no. 
and file location all right so here you go guys for everybody else who has this problem which is going to be basically everybody it looks like when delete it um yeah okay we deleted it here's a readme file known issues and troubleshooting uninstalling ins installation save games prior to installing the game yeah, this is all normal stuff um Hmm. Okay, um, input problems. Keyboard input could be the result of a control peripheral. Editing the Oblivion um, control section. See, I did that. Uh, see if it was running. See, this is right here. They know it's that big of a problem, dude. Um, but that did not work. Alright, so we've deleted it entirely now. Let's see if we relaunch it. Go back to chat because you guys are probably telling me something. Um, yeah, while you're at it, yeah. Holly recommend the unofficial patch mod. Verify integrity of files will be in there. Let's see. Um, right click properties. Okay, that's how you do it. All right, let's do that real quick. Let's just go ahead and do all the things. Properties. Um,. Uh, local files, verify integrity. Yep, verify my integrity of my There probably is Ziplocs. That's the sad part is usually, like even with Skyrim, there's the unofficial patch which fixes all the horrible, horrendously game-breaking stuff in the game. Yeah, we're going to figure it out. I'm, I'm going to play this freaking game, dude. They're not going to get me. They're not going to get me. I'm going to play this freaking game. Okay. When files fail to validate and will be reacquired, I assume I don't have to do anything? Sure. Isn't that crazy that Bethesda gets away with this crap? There's a collection on Nexus mod that is vanilla plus. Okay, thank you, Cat Nerd. If this doesn't work, that's what I'll do. I'll probably just go offline, fix it, then come right back on. Yeah, and that's that's what makes me so mad about this Vaughn is like there's a lot of people that like wouldn't know where to even begin. Like if it didn't work, they just wouldn't know what to do. You know what I mean? Like they just wouldn't know what to do. They just wouldn't be able to play the game and they paid for it. And that's bull crap. You know, that's up to the developers to fix their game. You know, uh it's crazy that this is stuff allowed. Even um I talk a lot of good stuff about Elden Ring, but Dude, the PC version is kind of garbage. Um, yeah, and it's also on Game Pass. That's probably where I was playing it before. Uh, and if I guess, actually, we could just play it on Game Pass. I could pull that right up. We could launch right into it. They straight up robbed you, dude. They did, man. They did. The collection because you're a streamer, so you don't really have time to waste learning to mod the game. Yeah, I really don't want to either, you know. Unless I get really into it and then people tell me, hey, this is a really cool mod or whatever. Um, then, you know, maybe we play around with that. But for the most part, I just want to play the vanilla game, dude. You know, I'm not asking for a lot here. All right, it's almost halfway done with this. I almost just want to cancel this. Do I have to back it up? All right, we got two more minutes. We got two more minutes. Fallout seventy six enters the chat. I agree with that too, Ziplocs. It shouldn't be on Steam. Honestly, Steam should say, "Hey, look, dude, people can't even play your game. You got to fix it. 
Just cancel it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't really necessarily. I just it says failed to validate will be required. I hopefully it did it. Um, update. I always keep the same up, game updated. Um, controller off. Off. Dis um, should I just put this? Should I put disable Steam input? I don't want it to even think there's a controller. Xbox controller, PlayStation Switch. Yes. Steam controller enabled, though. That's always required. Okay, remote play. No controller. I don't... Not trying to play some controller, bro. All right, now. I think we did the things, right? All right. I think we did the things. Yeah! I'm gonna watch a stupid opening again. Patrick Stewart, dude, I'm sorry, but I didn't want to hear your voice again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to hear your voice in the game. Yeah, I got the deluxe. Yes. I got the deluxe because it's on sale for like five bucks. Uh, that's a good point. GOG is a great place. I really should have... I really should have bought this on GOG. I've never had an issue on GOG. Everything ever, I've ever bought on GOG works. It doesn't let me skip. It says I have to enter a name. And then it won't let me enter a name. And my keyboard certainly works. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. Jeez. And, and there's just like forum after forum of the same issue. Like, it just happens to everybody. It's nuts. They even put it in their little... Their little info file there. Alright. Come on, baby. We're almost an hour deep. Oh, skip the intro. Oh, so that, that tells me the keyboard doesn't work. I should be able to skip this. Well, I can't. So it's not working then. Then I'm, then it's not working. I cannot believe this, dude. I cannot freaking... Yeah, escape doesn't work. Nothing works. So it, it still isn't working. And the sad part is I can... If the controller worked, I'd just play at the freaking controller. But the controller doesn't work either. Well, I, tur I turned it off a second ago. But it didn't work even a minute ago when I tried. So that's why you can't skip anything. Is because it's not recognizing my controller. Is this not nuts? Oh my god. Alright, here's the deal. I really want to play the PC version that I freaking paid for. But, I can't. I can't. Thanks a lot, Steam. Thanks a lot. Yeah, just close, piece of crap. Alright, um... All right, I don't even. I haven't opened my Game Pass in a long time. Uh, let's see. I think it's just this. This is crazy. This is crazy. All right, let's find it in here. I don't know. Go to Game Pass. All right, uh, Oblivion. I think my Game Pass is still active. I really haven't been on here in a long time. I really don't want to mess drive though. Um, I'm just going to do a little. Oblivion. There we go. Alright. Let's see if it'll let us play. There's a known bug, but that's never fixed, but it's fixing the modders patches. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're saying it may be the version of USB. Yeah, but dude, they totally got... That's the kind of things that if you've got your game up for sale, you've got to update for the new versions. Especially if you're still selling the game. And you're running specials on it, you know? And people can't even freaking play it. So I'm hoping this... <sighs> I hope this doesn't have the same issue because I'm pretty sure what we're doing here with the Game Pass, we're downloading the PC version, right? We're not playing... I don't know. Are we playing the 
360 version emulated? I don't know. I don't know how. I don't think so, though. The Giants bounce, yep. Uh, there's this bug where you infinitely mine ore and can't exit. That's been in there since launch. It's in every version of Skyrim Bethesda is released. And and probably the unofficial patch, that's one of the things it probably fixes, right? And th there's the glitch still exists from the old interview in Skyrim where they were talking about um, uh, when you're in the carriage and if a bug or a bee gets in the way of that carriage at the very opening scene of Skyrim... Dude, your carriage will just be flipping. I've actually got it on my channel where it happened to me. Here's a refund. <laughs> Thanks, Ziploc. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the super chat, man. It's the same version, but if you close Steam, it won't take over your controls and it might work. Okay, that's a good point. Let me make sure Steam is completely closed. Freaking Steam. Freaking Steam, dude. It is. It's gone. All right. The mining bug is one of the first bugs the unofficial patch fixed. Alright, we're at 17%. We're at 17%. Sorry about this, guys. Sorry. I, I, I did load up the game and make sure... You know, I didn't expect something that stupid to happen. Thank you, Ziplocs. Thank you uh, for unrobbing me. Uh, they robbed me and you unrobbed me. Thank you. Uh, steaming pile. That's about right. Yes, I can. I can. I can totally tell them. Take you know, give me my money back. I can probably. I'll probably just patch it though. Um, just try blowing in the cartridge. <laughs> I didn't try that. No, I didn't. I, I forgot. It's blow on my steam. Uh, maybe the, maybe if I blow on the uh, blow on the steam a little bit uh, before I before I load it up. Download Wild Burning Crusade two days ago and on server Nathan's on been uh, leveling like a madman. Yeah, man. And that 50% experience boost helps a lot that they got going. And, and from what I understand, that's going to be going until um, until the launch of Wrath. It's usually two hours played or two weeks. Yeah, yeah, I think it's two hours. Yeah, I think you're right. Which I'm definitely not. I've played maybe 20 minutes of trying to get the game to work. I've genuinely enjoyed a lot of Bethesda games when they work, but they really are a buggy crap show, <laughs> and the community has to fix their games for them. That may, that's sad. When your community has to fix your game for you. Like, I'm having to re-download the game now from Game Pass, and if this works, then that means that it, this is Steam's fault. That's what that means. Actually, my yeah, I love Bethesda games too, dude. Nobody makes games like they do, you know? Nobody makes games like they do, but jeez, dude. You know, uh, 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 Skyrim, from, from what I'm aware of, in Skyrim, if you play through the story on the PS3, you're not going to be able to beat it. Like, there's a bug at the end when you're going to the final boss that just renders the game completely unplayable. Um, you can't see anything. Um, walls disappear, um, and you can't you can't even beat it. Oblivion. We're trying to play Oblivion, Low Risers. So the game doesn't work. It doesn't recognize a keyboard. It could be because USB 3. Um, yeah, it might be that bug. Yeah, Crinkled, I think that is what it is. And from what I understand, they never even fixed that. Like, this issue that I had tonight when I, when I started looking it up... There's posts from 2018 with the exact same problem I have, and you guys watch. I changed the I changed the uh, the file like it said to do, um, and I also just deleted it and let it redo it completely, and it still didn't work. The unofficial patch fi fixes that bug. By the way, what a mess, dude! What a mess! A multi-billion-dollar company, and then some. No offense, because the modders are freaking awesome, right? I'm not. I'm not trying to throw shade at them. Like, thank God for them, actually. But how pathetic that just some random keyboard warriors out there in the world are fixing a multi-billion-dollar company's game for them. And then here's the other deal: if you use the unofficial patch, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's a mod. Therefore, you can't get the achievements in the game, right? Am I right? That's what. That's the way I understand it. Because now it's modded. Even though you have to mod it to play the game.
Oh, that would be awful, dude. Uh, first name, last name, I think of that a lot. Um, what if something happened digitally to where, like, or or technology moved to a point where these old games, you couldn't play them anymore, nobody um, tried to make it possible to still play them. Daggerfall Unity would be awesome. I may stream that. I do have that on my computer so somewhere here. I do have Daggerfall. Um, I have a lot of games installed. Uh, right here it is, Daggerfall Unity. I actually do have that. Um, that game is hard. Um I got a lot of games um, on the computer that, um, realistically, I probably need to go through here and clean some of these up that I'm never going to play again. This is my uh, this is my favorite thing that I've got on here, by the way. It's my favorite. Um, but yeah, we got to wait for this download. We're at 60%. We're close. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, but you know what? You know what? This is what happens <laughs> when you try to play a Bethesda game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, dude. Yeah, Daggerfall Unity, we will do a playthrough of that. We'll we'll play Daggerfall. We'll, we'll, I love that game. It's so hard, though. Uh, but it works. Uh, but that was also the Unity versus completely fan, you know. And it looks cool. It looks really cool. I did a video one time about it on the channel. Uh, just kind of talking about how cool it looked. And uh, from what I understand, it's... Um, you can now play Daggerfall from beginning to end in that Unity, from what I understand. Um, the whole storyline, which, like, what, 0.05% of people have actually made their way through that game because it's so ridiculously huge. You can get a start area. Dude, it's hard. I've made it out of the start area. I've made it to, like, the first town and started the first or second quest. And that's about as that's about as far as I've ever gotten. But, dude, we're talking I still played the game for 60 hours, probably. All right. Uh, they have announced the sixth one. Um, but from what the way they've talked, we believe that it was... Um, we believe it, it. it's in very early development. In other words, we have a long way to go, we think. And for anybody that's just joining, sorry, turns out that a, do not buy Oblivion on Steam. It does not work. Your keyboard will not be able to type your player name. You will not be able to start the game. Do not get Oblivion on Steam. Now we are trying it because I'm just, I'm determined to play Oblivion. So now we're getting on Game Pass. I'm pretty sure it probably works on here. Oh, I've seen that. The uh, remake of Oblivion with the Skyrim engine called Sky Oblivion. Yes, it does look far along. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we get to see that soon. That would be really cool. Yeah, five years off, I think that's fair to say. Hammerfell, that's right. It is. Yes, that's what everybody thinks. Pretty sure from the little bit they showed, it's going to be in Hammerfell. That's right. <laughs> Cat Nerd says that no version of Oblivion actually works in vanilla. Well, we might have to patch it up then. I don't want to on stream because I'm an idiot when it comes to mods. It takes me forever. Uh, Daggerfall, I might check it out. Yeah, we'll play some Daggerfall. We will do that. And I guess if it comes down to it, I'll just do that tonight. Uh, probably it will be on... It probably will be on the PS... The PlayStation 6, etc. Wouldn't shock me if it's that far out. I'm putting good vibes in the Karma universe for you to get this game going. Thank you, Johnny Jojo. Appreciate it. Arena, I've never played it, but I've heard it is even harder than Daggerfall. That's what I've heard. Oh, well, I did try it one time. They made it free one time. Do you guys remember that? They just like, I don't know if it was GOG. I don't remember, but they put it up. It may still be free, actually. Um, and I downloaded it just to check it out because I never had. And it was hard. If you want, I can walk you through it. It's fairly easy, and I've been installing and making mods. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, we got an expert! Yeah, uh, if we got to, then, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what we got to do. All right, we're almost there. Of course, we have to install it, but I don't think that takes long. We're almost there. Yeah, I will do Daggerfall Unity. For sure, if you guys want it, a lot of people seem to want it. I didn't, th I didn't think that would be too popular, but I would love to play that. I'll, that's probably the most impressive RPG ever released. Just the massive size of it. 
Um, dude, those cities are gargantuan. All right, Bounty Code. Have a good night, man. I didn't even know you were here. Thank you, Bounty Code, for the super chat, man. Thank you so much. Hey, it's late. Have to sleep. Good night, Nathan. Good night, Bounty Code. Get some sleep, man. Get some sleep. Sparrow, good night. Y'all get some sleep. I didn't even know you guys were here. Thank you all. Thank you all for the super chat. Love you guys. You guys get some sleep. I'll 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 see. I may not see you tomorrow, but I see you Sunday. Uh, Red Guard Fisty Cuffer is like Skyrim MMA edition. Daggerfall was way ahead of itself, dude. Incredibly, yes. All right. It says it's ready to play. Please work, please, please, dude. I just want to play Oblivion, dude. Yes, yes. Anything you want, just let me play. Let's go into options real quick. Oh, cool. Okay, the settings look good. Please. Please, dude. Come on, man. I'm not asking for much. I just want to play a game. If it's a little buggy, some wonky things happen. Okay, okay. Just let me play. What do you guys think? You think it's going to work? Cat Nerd says no. There's a mod manager that's safe to use and auto installs everything for you, so if you need to mod the game, it won't take... Nice. I have most of those. Uh, I have Nexus. I should already have that on computer because I do use that for uh, Skyrim, I think. Come on. Not looking good. Not looking good. It's not looking good, guys. Not, not looking good. I don't know. Oh! Enter. Escape. Space bar. I don't know, guys. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Stop wiggling it. <laughs> I was born 87 years. I can't skip it. I can't skip it. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. I can't. All these years, can't do anything. I've never been the my own dreams. I'm not the ruler of this my own game. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness. Steam kept claiming it. Land. <laughs> the, the antennas. <laughs> It is stupid they have a remaster of these. This is the <gasps> on screen keyboard. Smart move, Crinkle. These are the closing days. But I don't think I'll be able to move or anything though. And the final But I will still try it. Of my life. This is so stupid. We're almost at goal! We almost hit goal! And then you got to play the game! <laughs> it's this intense. Wiggle it just a little bit. <laughs> this is the game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing that's ever happened to me in my life of gaming. This is all right. <laughs> oh, I can't really go to the. I can't actually go to my. Maybe if I press the Windows key. All right, all right. All right. So I put up the on-screen keyboard. 
Hang on, let me move it down a little bit. Nope, nope. 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 Oh, and it broke the game. The game is broke. Dude! You gotta be kidding me! Oh yeah, it froze up. It is it's all kinds of broke. It's all kinds of broke, guys. That did not work. Oh boy. Alright, close. Go away. We get it, it didn't work. Go away, keyboard. It didn't work. Alright. This is craziness, guys. This is absolutely nuts. Same problem. Alright. So we're going to have to mod the game. Um, let me see if I already have Vortex. Yeah, I do. I do have Vortex. Alright. I'm pretty sure this is an engine level bug having to do with the old game's incompatibility with new hardware. Simply put, it doesn't recognize your keyboard driver. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. I feel like they should have fixed that. But, alright. It does sound... That sounds right. So, uh, games... Man, I'm not good at this. Um, you can see my Skyrim is here. Um, how do you... Uh, Morrowind is here. ESO's on here. Um, do I just search for it? Oblivion. There it is. There it is. All right. All right. Uh, this is from Steam. Okay. Switch into profile. It's funny. It's, it's the first thing I've seen in a long time. It actually caused me to go AFK and get disconnected from Wow. Sorry. This is high quality content. This is, this is the highest quality content, guys. Um, all right, so all right, Oblivion is here. Okay, all right. Uh, plus, I think. Open Nexus page, right? Okay, it's coming. Here it comes. Um, make the game work mod. Uh, what's his, what? What mod am I looking for? Patch? Maybe I should just search for patch. Unofficial. Hang on. Unofficial Oblivion patch. I'm I, I'm pretty sure it's what I need, right? Um. Okay, an Oblivion mod that fixes over 2,500 bucks. <laughs> that sounds, sounds promising. Dude, this could be, this could actually be the whole episode of Cringe Pony. Thank you so much, Yord, for the super chat. Goal achieved. Oh, there we go. We hit goal. And I, I didn't even get to play the game. Uh, we're going to, though. All right. Now go to collections. Oh, you may need a Nexus premium account for collections. Um, okay. Everybody wants me to buy a computer. I need to buy an old computer, right? I think the problem is I'm trying to use a new computer. All right, so I'm going to pull this over here, guys, so everybody can see what's going on here. All right. I ain't got nothing to hide. Let's, <laughs> let's just do this. Um, so this is the unofficial Oblivion. Uh, I'm going to do it manual because it's the only option. Sometimes there's one on here that you can do and it does the stuff for you. I'm going to download it. Uh, I'm not logged in. All right, let me log in. Let me bring it over here. Okay, I'm logging in. Hopefully I remember my things because it's been a long time. Nope. Crap, I don't know if I remember my stuff. Ah, oh, man, I don't remember my stuff. Well, crap, guys. I don't remember my freaking information, dude. Haven't used this in a long time. All right, here we go. Got to take the long way around.
right, here we go. Uh, da, 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 here we go. Okay, now let me log in. Okay, there we go. Now we're logged in. We go back over here so I can see. Oh, shoot. Can do it. We have the technology. Yeah, they're late. It's strong. I can just give you links for some things that you need. I don't want to post links without permission, though. Yeah, you can post links. Uh, but shouldn't I just be able to get this mod and shouldn't it be okay? Um, mod manager, am I logged in now? I think so. Okay. Yeah, we should just be able to do this, right? Unofficial oblivion compatibility. Uh, what? You gonna go and get that? Compatibility, that sounds right. <laughs> So we can do the slow download because I'm not a premium member. Let it open Vortex. See if it worked. I forgot how to do this. I haven't done this in so long. Um, mods. Uh, somewhere you can see the downloading. Man, I haven't done this in a long time. Um, here we go, here we go. There's the compatibility patch. Okay, enabled. Don't I have to tell it? Okay, good. Okay, that one's on there. Okay, now let's go back and get this one. An A2 CPU. <laughs> Want to expand the memory and prevent the memory leaks? Oh my lord! Is this is too much! Okay, let's make sure that's going through. Somewhere, I swear I used to be able to see that it was. Oh, here it is. Downloads. <clears throat> I thought. Is that it? And, uh, yep, this is it. Okay. Remember, this is for Steam version. Yes, 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 yes. This is for the Steam version. I'm going to go ahead and close my Xbox stuff down. Can delete that later. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So now we need to go to our mods. I don't see the other one, though. Oh, maybe it wasn't done. Oh, it's not done yet, that's why. All right, almost. I'm doing the slow download, that's why. There's real value in having a retro gaming. There is, there is value in it, yep. Do we get bonus cringe? Dude, right now I'm not even sure Cringe Pony's going to make it this tomorrow. I'm not sure. There's so much uh, more filming to do. And the, prob the real problem is actually that I can't film most of the scenes tomorrow because my family, uh, my kids have to go to an event and they won't be here all day tomorrow. So I'm afraid I may have to delay Cringe Pony just because I won't, I need, uh, I can't, some of the scenes I can't film myself. Uh, I need, I need, 
other humans. Um, and I think I'm going to end up here home alone, which means I'll stream more, but also means Cringe Pony may not may not be able to be finished. Uh, most of Oblivion's crashes have to do with running out of memory. And how do you fix that? Did you send me a link? I don't see it. Or what do I search for uh, for the mod for that? Is that is is it included in the official patch? Let me put it that way. And move it out of a 3.0. I will do that. I'll check that. Um, all right, so these should be on here. They're enabled. Don't you have to deploy them or something? Um, how do I know? Deploy mods? You have to select a deployment mode first. Nope. What? Suggests. I don't know what it's talking about. Mod staging folder. I you use default pass to store mods you download and install. If you don't like these default, okay, uh, sure, apply. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I have no idea what I'm doing. It also patches the game base. So, do, do I need to do anything else? Games? I thought there was a way to look at the mod. I don't remember it looking like this. Am I used to seeing it here, maybe? Here we go. This is what I'm used to seeing. Um, how do I know what is actually on here, though? Two active mods. Okay. Is that it? Should we try it? I'm hitting play. I'm hitting play. We're now almost an hour and a half deep. Beat the drum for Stories Galaxies. Now I'm going to beat the drum for Ultimate. Oh, Ultimate or Dark Age Camelot. Yeah, DAOC, dude. That's going to that's coming. Use the script extender, not the base game. Once you've been oh, I should have clicked this. Well. If it doesn't work, then that's what I'm going to do. And it probably isn't going to. Let's be honest. Is it doing it? Things are happening! Things are happening! <laughs> it's all little, dude. Dude, I can't play it like that! I'm playing on the Game Boy! like that oh 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 wait wait oh no I broke it I broke it keyboard's not working all right I'm gonna try the thing I goofed it up I goofed it up hang on, hang on. goofed it up okay there it closed it closed all right <laughs> all right so I need to click this I should play it like that it looks good <laughs> Uh, that's not doing nothing. Make primary? Dude, it's not doing anything. <laughs> Dude, guys, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't think we're gonna, I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to play. I, I, this is doing nothing. Anybody know? Anybody know? The game launcher sometimes validates the game files and can break mods. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, this doesn't do anything. So... What now? Oh shoot, I just clicked it again. Okay, so how do we install the script extender? It shows it right here. 
So how do you do that? We need to search for it. You have to do that manually, don't you? Dude, this is a pain in the butt, dude. I can't believe... Dude, it's an hour and a half since I tried to start playing this. My plus side, this has been a very entertaining stream streamer win. Yeah, entertaining, but I still didn't get to play Oblivion. Uh... So do I need to find it on here? Um, script extender. Well, it's supposed to deploy it itself. Yeah, yeah. Vortex should have done that for me. Um, so where do I... I just look for it? Just oblivion script extender. Here it is. Okay. Uh, your link's not showing. There is no links for me. If you're sending links, they're not showing. Usually it will tell me and I can show it, but it's not working. I don't see any links. Scrolling up to make sure I didn't miss it. Hopefully this is it because it's not showing your link. Um, all right. How do you download this? File zero. Okay. Download. Updated community fork maintained. Okay. So this one, it's the newest one. Yeah, I think it's auto deleting them. Okay. Here's the zip. Twenty two point seven. I'm gonna save that in do I need to save it in the Steam folder? Um I guess it doesn't matter until I unzip it, right? So we'll do we'll just save it. Call it um Oblivion script extender download. save it then we'll unzip it let's go to the folder now here it is <clears throat> extract files um just download that unzip it and drop it in the game's root folder okay okay so we'll just then in that case uh what we're going to do here actually is we're just going to uh, extract here and then i can grab and drag it and meanwhile whoops um all this right all of this needs to go in the root folder. So let me get the root folder pulled up. All right. Grab this, pull it over here. Let me get to the root folder now. Restart Vortex. Good, uh, good, good, good. All right. Let me get this pulled up. Find my root folder here. Mm -mm. We got Steam. Here we go, Steam, and then it's under something like apps. Yeah, Steam apps. What do we got here? Um, common. Okay, now let's find it. Elder Scrolls Daggerfall, Skyrim. Where's Oblivion? There's Oblivion. Okay. So here's my root folder. Oblivion, bam. Okay, right? Not in the data folder. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think you are. Okay. All right. So I'm going to grab all this. Okay. And I'm just going to drag it over here. Okay. Does that look good? That's what we're supposed to do. Not in data, but in the root main folder, right? Okay. And then I need to close Vortex all the way. Quit. Do you want to allow... Yeah. All right, let's make sure it's gone. Okay, Vortex is closed. Okay. You should make a video. It would do really good. <laughs> no! <laughs> Pantheon may release before I play Oblivion. It, it, it's actually, that is actually possible. All right, Vortex, I'm going to reopen it.
All right, Raish. Have a good one, man. Sorry you didn't get to actually watch me play. Check failed. Um, what is this? That's why I don't like to mod. Oh my gosh, sure. What's up with this? Hmm. Okay, now that whatever that was is over, we're going to click Oblivion, right? We're going to go to Dashboard. What is all this? Why is there so many screens for the same thing? Games. Oblivion. This one. Dashboard. Where's my game? Um, I'm trying to get back to the screen that I recognize. It's not this one. Why is this so confusing? Open with an arrow. Okay, I don't know what to do now. Reading this readme file is like asking for directions. Um... Uh, Yeah, dashboard. That's what I thought. This doesn't look right, though. Oblivion. What is all this? Stop. Where's my game? I don't even recognize this, this menu right here. Where's, like, normally it will show the game here. What is all this? Mods. Hey, dashboard. What is this? I can't find it. Now it's gone. I'm on dashboard. I'm clicking dashboard. And I'm on oblivion. It has oblivion here. You guys can see that? It does go in. Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All of those folders? Because now I don't know which one. Well, I, actually, I do. It was these. It was these right here, I think. Hang on. Now I don't know. Now I'm confused. I think it was these. So all these. In the bottom of Vortex's mods tab. Um, I don't know if I know what you're talking about. Okay, just grab the zip file and drop it in the bottom of Vortex's mod. I don't see what you're talking about. What's a mod tab? I don't see that. Right here on the left? I don't think that did anything. I don't know what you mean. I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay, I do see the mod tab, but look, when I do that, it doesn't do anything. It just goes away. I'm pretty sure that's not working. And plus, I can't even get to my game. Like, it's not showing it. I'm on dashboard. But I can't see... Yeah, good lord. This is stupid. God, I'm getting aggravated. Where is my freaking dashboard at? Why can't I get to my game? Like, what is this? Customize your dashboard. How about you show the game? I don't want the, all this stupid crap. No, not to do. Not announcements. Not news. Not latest mods. Not onboarding. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. I want the game! Okay, wait, wait, is this it? TS4, okay, this is it, here we go. Um, it still looks different, though. Um, maybe I just try to drag it to that. Uh, Oblivion Script Extender. Now I can select Run. 
to the mods tab. Okay, okay, and then just drag it into here. Nothing. Guys, look at the bottom. Oh, drop files. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Unresolved. The unresolved file com uh, conflicts. This just means that two or more mods maintain uh, the same files that you need to decide which of them loads and thus provides the files. Show. Okay. So what do I pick here? We got unofficial uh, patch here. Um, so I need to tell either before or after. Any idea? Or just use suggestions? That's what I usually do. Let's see what it says. Yeah, I'm going to make you go bald. Uh, there's going to be 50 copies of mod files all over the place. Yeah, so I told you to use suggestions, but it couldn't do it, apparently. Load. I don't know... Which should come first? Is that good? Yeah, the suggestions didn't work. So we're going to do compatibility patch before the unofficial patch. <laughs> Whatever that means. Alright, save. Um, Alright. Now. Back to the dashboard, right? And we're going to run it. Hell hath no fury is a gamer scorned. Okay, run it. Let's go. I don't think it's working. Did I just run the game now? Yep, let's, let's give it a second. But I'm pretty sure it's not doing anything. What's up, Thunder? Yeah, it's not doing anything. It's in God's hands now. <laughs> I don't think it's, it's not going to do anything. Vortex Roundhouse kicks Chuck Norris. Yes. Come on. It's, it, I don't think it's going to do it. It's been a really long time, but nothing's happened. Pretty sure it's not working. Maybe hit play up here. Oh, oh, okay. Hit play up here. It's doing something. Oh, Lord, it's opening Steam. Micro window. <laughs> this is all Todd Howard's fault. Absolutely. It, uh... oh, I haven't played Oblivion in a long, long time. And it's looking like... I'm not going to be playing it for a long, long time. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't think it's starting. I don't even see Steam starting up. Let me just, let me manually start Steam. Wait, 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 wait. Something's going on. Something's happening. Okay. All right, let me move this over here. Okay, we're moving in. We're moving in. It's still an exceptionally entertaining stream. All right. All right, guys. <laughs> maybe maybe I just need to play it on a console. This is the speed run, dude. That is, this is it. This is a speed run to get the game running. Password one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Top secret. 
All right, it's normal for this part. Taking a while with this part is totally normal, so I'm not freaking out yet. Now, when the game starts loading in Game Boy mode, I'll, I'll freak out again. I'll try not to touch anything, though. Okay? I'm afraid to even try to skip this. I'm not going to lie. It's not let me skip it. I'll tell you that. Window size looks about right. I'm pretty sure you can skip this, and I can. I can't do anything. Dude, this is this is a travesty. All right, let me move my freaking keyboard to another USB port. I'll be back. Okay, okay, I moved it to another port. I may have to reload the game. <laughs> Alright. Uh, is there a way I can test? Should I be able to move with my keyboard around the options? I don't even know. Because, once again, I've never gotten this game to work before. Now, I should be able to skip the cinema scene, right? Everybody sure about that? I can't. I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. Can't skip but it. For all these years, the I've tilled never been the ruler of my own Okay, I did. It didn't open the console. I have seen the gates of oblivion. Beyond which this is on a regular USB 2.0, by the way. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps nope. the land. Console doesn't work. Tilled key. Being smashed. This is the 27th of last seed. The year of Akatosh, 433. These are the closing days <sighs> of the third era. And the final hour. I'll try that. Of my life. All right, I'll dance for this part. There. Now maybe it'll work. Yeah, restart the new port. That's what I was thinking. Let's make sure, though. Let's make sure. <laughs> Let's try that. This is crazy. I've got all the patches. I've done the things. <sighs> Alright, it's in a new USB port. Pretty invested. Seen it work at this point. Okay, well last time I had to do it up here. Just 
plug a keyboard and all your USB ports, one is bound to work. I mean, I could just go get another keyboard. I'm going to try that if this doesn't work. I'm just going to go get another keyboard from downstairs. This isn't that fancy of a keyboard. It's just a regular old keyboard. Yeah, I actually believe that. I actually believe that. I believe Todd Howard has specifically targeted me. Oh, okay. Well, I do have just... A, I think it actually is a Logitech. Now, I'm using wired. I never go wireless uh, for keyboards or mouse. I like them to be wired up. Enter, enter. Escape, escape. Something. Work, you piece of crap. Even the cheapest keyboards are just fine. I'm going to go get... Failing that, use your mouse to enter options and see if the game is trying to make you use the controller. Yeah, I'll try that. I did try that before, but that was before we did all the patches and stuff. Because it's certainly not working. I don't even have it. There's not even a controller hooked up to this computer, dude. There's not. And I, I, I definitely remember being able to skip this. I, mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is the new Scrunch Pony. All right, we're going to go to Options, Controls. Nope. It's showing keyboard. Let's see if it'll let me if I try to change it. Nope. It just does not recognize this keyboard. All right, well, give me a second. I did delete the .ini files. Oh, there are three of them. Well, no, then I didn't. All right, we're going to try that now. That is what everybody says, but I thought there was only one. All right. No, it is on D. All right, here we go. Give me a second. Here, guys, let me find it again. I mean, you would think that they would have patched this out with the, with the unofficial patches. This is crazy. Steam... Okay, let's go ahead and drag us back over here so you guys can see. I'm going to go to, uh, uh, man, I'm getting tired now. Common, um, you got Oblivion, there it is. Um, okay, let's find all the dot I and I. Is that one? No, that's OBSE. Those are all the OBSC stuff. Um, I don't even see it now. Stall script. There it is. I only see this one. Also, background mouse. Okay, well, let's open it up. <sighs> Escape skips, or it should. Thank you. Documents, my games. Uh, all right, um, I'm in it, so um, first you need to go down to controls, right? Okay, let me see if I can find all these you're talking about. B, background, mouse. B, background, mouse, invert. Uh, joystick, what's that one? B background mouse should be zero. Yep, got that one. B background keyboard equals one. Okay. Um, joystick equals zero. Okay. Yeah, I did try it before, Yord, but we're trying again. I haven't sacrificed a virgin yet. Um, Just put it, play this instead as a joke. <laughs> I, 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 this will definitely, I'm going to do some, I'm going to do some, some, uh, cuts from this for sure for Crunch Pony. All right, uh, so that's there. Save it. Okay. I'm going to reopen it just to make sure that those are still showing. Controls. Okay, um, B mouse zero. B keyboard one, joystick zero. 
Okay, there we go. We got it. Now, let's try it again. <laughs> yeah, I have sung badly to it. I have tried that, Jason. That was the first thing I tried. <laughs> this is why people play console games, guys. <laughs> this is why. This is why, because on a console it works. Like, you know, like, I could go... Get this on, on the version that's available on the Xbox or the PS4, and it would work. Like, this is, this is, this is, everybody's always like, what's the advantage of console? This is the only advantage of consoles, is games work. <sighs> this wasn't what I thought this stream was going to be, I'll tell you that. Alright, escape. It's not doing anything, guys. I'm gonna go get my crappy keyboard. I'm gonna go get my crappy keyboard. I can't believe this. Alright, nope. It's not working. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Oh my goodness, I almost stroke out. Uh. It's so hard to even close the piece of crap. Yeah, exit, you piece of crap. All right, get in the crappy keyboard. I'll be right back. I'm going to find the crappiest one in the house. I'll be right back. All right, guys, before I before I put this in, okay, I just want to show everybody. This is just a regular old $10, really old, but it works, uh, Logitech. See, just a, just a good old piece of crap, all right? I'm going to be replacing my fairly normal keyboard with it here. Um, give me a second so I can get the wire found here. Okay, all right, all right, give me one second. Let me replace
Okay. Probably needs to be cleaned anyway. All right. Just regular old Logitech. I'm just gonna wire it this way because it's not gonna be there long. on <clears throat> okay regular old keyboard it works it feels weird to me but it does work here we go just spent all day in the arizona heat tearing cars apart and putting them back together i'm sleeping <laughs> it gets it running all right maybe it's just too fancy of a keyboard guys <laughs> this seems normal to me. I did get the unofficial patch. I didn't get the force window mode. That would be nice. Alright. Moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth here. This could be it. This could be it. It's a quality product. <laughs> <laughs> escape and escape and enter not doing nothing tilt key Not working. Guys. It just works. It just doesn't work. Look at this. This is unbelievable. It's on Game Pass. Yeah, there's no save files because I can't play your game, bro. Alright, let's double check it. We can go to um, controls. We can pretend like we're trying to change it. Nope. What's up, truck station? South of Atlanta. Nope, nothing. Doesn't work. Still doesn't work. Two hours deep. Two hours deep. Downloaded mods. Done all the things. Now I'm stuck in this menu. Done all the freaking things, man. I'm, I'm at a loss here. I don't know what to do. Uh, how does anybody play this game? How is there a human alive playing this freaking game, dude? It doesn't work. Yeah, I am running on Steam. I'm at a loss. I don't know what else to do. We've done the mods. It's got the script extender, the unofficial oblivion patch, the other unofficial patch. We changed the .ini files. Um, we've done all the things. I turned the controller off on Steam. Settings. See? It's, the controller's disabled. Let's put it back on default. Okay. 
Okay. My guess is you already beat the game, so try another one. Talk about a speed run. Main menus never worked for my keyboard, but works in game. Okay. I'll just say, okay, okay. Well, maybe you're right about that. Maybe you're right about that. I can't type. So the problem is we've not even got to start the game because it wants us to, uh, that's weird. Okay, that one's the Game Pass version. Uh, we, we can't even start the game because we can't make a character because we can't enter the character's name. Reinstall Windows. <laughs> for, not for Oblivion. Not for Oblivion. Okay, I'm going to try that. But we can't even get to the game because we can't enter the character's name and it won't let us do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no button to click to say, make your own name. Because I would do that. But it doesn't even recognize my keyboard at all. This is second keyboard. We've tried USB 3, USB 2. Um, we've installed all the things. We've changed the the file, uh, the .ini file. Um, all right. All right. Thanks. Thanks for joining, man. Yeah, thanks, man. Random. Nope, there's no randomized character creator um i i'm a I, I think i'm just gonna call it i don't think this i don't think this game is playable man this is crazy i've never went through this much trouble and still not got a game to work windows update that has never fixed anything ever in the history of gaming we could try compatibility mode that's a decent once again It's not working though, because I definitely should be able to skip that. Let's try compatibility mode. I'm, I'm going to quit doing this because Vortex didn't help at all. That did literally nothing. Um, uh, hang on here. I wonder if I just ran it in Xbox with my controller on. I really don't feel like the I really don't feel like the Game Pass would have it on here if you couldn't play it, right? I've not used a controller with this before though, I don't think. So I don't know if I know how to do it. Um Where's the settings on here? I don't even know how to do anything on here. I really don't do much with this. Um settings, here we go. Uh, 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 um. I don't think it has any controller settings. I mean, this is just the PC version, though. So I, I don't think it really matters. I'll try to launch the game with my controller on. See what happens. Options, nope. Data files. <laughs> Peace be with you, amen, yes. Respect for having a very long fuse. <laughs> What's another few after two hours down? I don't want to. I don't want to give up just because you guys have waited this long for the game to work. To be honest, okay. Xbox going to draw. It did. It did recognize the controller. Okay, that might be a good sign. All right. Good luck. Have a good night. Have a good night, Crinkle. You don't want to use Vortex for Oblivion. Also, the game doesn't support a controller on PC. Really? It seems like it's trying really hard to use the controller. And anyway, I'd still have to use the keyboard to put my name in. I've got two different versions of it. I've got the Game Pass version and the Steam version. Neither one works. Oh my god. 
My ears! Oh wait, it did something. God! Why is it doing this? What's going on, dude? Okay, go away. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. I can't even believe it. I can't believe it. Am I asleep right now? Is this real? Is this real life? Is this even real life anymore at this point? <laughs> it means it's working. Dude! You know what, guys? You know what? You know what? I've, I've had enough. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm closing it. I'm closing it. I'm going over. And we're gonna run Daggerfall. How about that? We're just gonna run Daggerfall for a while. All right. Screw Oblivion. <laughs> Screw that game. What a piece of crap. I don't know if I ever want to play that game ever again for the rest of my life. <laughs> We're just going to play Daggerfall. How about that? <sighs> this was on GOG. It looks like... Is that what this open? It looks like it. Um... <clears throat> Here we go. Alright. What we have here is a failure to communicate. What we have here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> Todd's body count increases by one. Uh, we're gonna go with, uh, we don't need player nudity. Um, left hand weapons, I don't know. Click to attack, I don't know. Enable controller. Uh, well, I'm kind of scared of that option. Let's not do that. Invert mouse, no. Vertical sync, looks good, looks good. Just some advanced here. Dungeon textures. Um... Okay, alright, looks good. Interface enhancements, mod system, compressed mod texture, dungeon ambient light. Sure, 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 sure. Video, resolution. Does it go up? Oh, we can do 1440. It's running fine the way it is, though. It looks good on the stream. Alright, let's play. I believe it's been broken since 2006. I just cannot believe I couldn't even get the game to run. Yep, it's going to be broken for all time. How cool, though. I don't remember this. King of Worms. Dream. Well, I've never seen this before. Dude, I've never seen this before. This is like a brand new scene. This is not... Oh, is that's... Oh, I see. Now it's starting the real. Oh, that was cool, dude. That was like... They made that all new. Normally it starts the, uh... Full motion video. Dude, this is way better than the game used to be, by the way. Chapter 2. Dude, that was cool. That was that was pretty impressive. All right, start new game. Uh, please select your home province. All right, right, right. So we're gonna say we're from. Um, I would pick the Imperial Province. Is that the one selected right now? No. Um, what about? Let's do Hammerfell. Red guards? No, no, no. I don't want to be a red guard. High rock. Bretons? Yes. Let's be a Breton. Um, magic seems to infuse the very being of the Briton. Ah, uh, never mind. 
How about Skyrim? Uh, tall and fair skin, strong, willful, and hardy. Owing the climate of Skyrim, Nords are resistant to coastal temperatures and take ice base, which is historically well suited to all sorts of the warrior. That's what we're going to do. Mel, um, I'm going to pick from a list of possible classes. You can also create your own custom character class by choosing this option. Uh, we're going to do that one. Uh, let's see what we got. Spell, sword, battle mage, sorcerer, healer, knight blade, bard, burglar, rogue, acrobat, thief, assassin, monk, archer, ranger, bar barbarian, warrior, knight. We're going to go with knight. Okay, knights are trained as warriors. They help from noble stock and adhere to the code of chivalry. Those important skills of knight are long blade, etiquette, blunt weapon, axe, archery, and short blade. Okay. Automatically generating your character background. You'll be able to adjust starting attributes and skills. Yes. Your reputation commoners is higher. Merchants, scholars, nobility. Okay. I don't know how to tell it. That, that's good. Okay, that's good. Name that stuff. Here we go. Sorensen. Oh, it means chapter two in the Elder Scrolls series. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Okay. Let's choose a face. Is there some, I don't know. We're going to go with... Oh, that guy looks good enough. Okay. Ooh, I like that dice roll sound. Um, strength. Um, hmm. I wish I knew for sure. Endurance, agility. We're going to need some endurance. Strength looks pretty good. I, luck, speed, personality? I'm going to be able to talk people into stuff, so I'm bring that up. And we'll bring, we'll put the rest in strength. Okay. Spell points, 27. Magic resist, 5. Okay. That was kind of a bad roll, wasn't it? Let's re-roll. That was a bad roll. Maybe it wasn't. Let's try to get a good one. Ooh, that's really high strength. Oh, this is way better. Let's go with this one. All right, let's put a little points into that. No dexterity. Endurance. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Long blade, yes. Primary skills etiquette. I wish I understood what that meant. Um, long blade. How many points do I have to spend here? At six. Um, let's bring this up a little bit. Etiquette. Bring that up. That helps us talk to people. Um, major skills. Short blade. Ooh, that's really low. Um, we'll go with axe then. Okay, and I still got one point to spend here. Let's put that back in long blade. Okay, minor skills. Medical dodging. That's going to be important. Ooh, I'm bad at jumping, apparently. Just put them all in here. Okay. Here we go. Speed and luck are super helpful for melee. This game is amazing. It lets you name your character. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Player replays during the overall speed of the game. We're going to go with just normal. Okay. Looks good. A little hard to understand what he's saying. It's a really old, though. It's recorded with the Game Boy Pocket, so. The Imperial Palace, seat of the Emperor Uriel Septim the Seventh, midnight. Sandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. He 
was as loyal a subject, ally, and friend as you are. But his spirit does not rest. With a spectral army, he haunts his former kingdom, crying for revenge. I do not know why a good and loyal man would be so cursed. Yeah, it is evil feeling, yeah. Perhaps you can find the answer and close the marble drawers of oblivion, bringing peace to his soul. I did play the original, yeah. Dude, even the scene, they've cleaned it up a lot. I have one lesser Somehow. Alright, lesser. Yeah, we're playing Daggerfall. Dude, Oblivion doesn't work. It doesn't work. This should have used puppets, I agree. It never arrived. The letter was of a sentimental and personal nature. If you find We're playing Daggerfall. Now Oblivion now. doesn't work, dude. We had some wild adventures trying to get it to work. For tomorrow, you sail for the kingdom of Daggerfall. Daggerfall. Put out the torch. Boom. Yeah, it did. That's some live action. I think it's only the beginning and the end, though, maybe. Normally when, like, the stream doesn't go well, I delete it. But I'm not deleting this one, dude. I'm not deleting this one. It's staying. It's staying. I'll change the thumbnail. You wake and look around the room. Some hours ago, you were in a boat en route to Daggerfall when a storm of supernatural stream boiled over the Ili Iliac Bay like a malefic creature. Your boat was destroyed, but you managed to swim through the turning water to a promontory rock. There you found a cave and escaped the fury of the storm. It only just lit a small fire when a mudslide sealed you within. Your fear of being buried alive calmed you when you saw the corridor leading out of the cavern. Perhaps there is a way out of this cave after all. Once free of the cave, you can begin the Emperor's quest. Uh, as a tutorial that can be acted. Yeah, we're going to do the tutorial. we we'll receive an early artifact quest. Oh, what? Sure. Very first thing you want to do is experiment with moving your character around. Don't worry about monsters. There are none in the first room. Which text clears, move the mouse around, change where you're looking, WSD to move around. There are default keys. You can change them later. Uh, I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Can you guys see? I guess it's dark in here. Wow! This looks good. Dude, they've updated it since I last played it. Dude, they've updated a lot. It was not in 3D when I played it. Dude, when I last tried this, all the little things were still like a 2D thing, but you couldn't like you couldn't like see them in 3D. Like this is nuts. I don't know how to describe, but they've updated the snot out of this. All right, so that's how we move. Uh, press the F6 key to bring up your inventory. Click on the weapon, puts it in your hand. Now you're able to draw your weapon. Click on the exit button to go back to the game. Hint, you can have two weapons equipped. Press the H key to switch back and forth. Okay, F6. Didn't work. I for inventory? I probably changed it. Okay. Um, Broadsword? Short sword? Do I have a long sword? I freaking specialized in long sword. I don't think I have one. I think I minored in... Uh, Axes, right, was another one. Yeah, I don't see a long sword. I might have to find one. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, there we go. Okay. Then... How do you get it out, though? H. Like and subscribe! Should make a YouTube video called How to Run and Believe It on PC. Have some of the best clips of failing the internet on you starting Daggerfall. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I like that idea, actually. I can't see in here, though. At all. Um, probably not a way to turn up the brightness. I can't see. Alright, to draw your weapon, press the Z key. There we go. 
Um, take a few practice swings, mode down the right mouse button, move the mouse around. This is how you fight monsters. Okay. Z. It's not working. Controls. Um, jump is space. Slide is Z. Um, how do you get out your weapon? Ready weapon F. Okay. I've, I'm probably the one that changed that, by the way. There we go. Oh, it's in 3D, sort of, kind of. Go down, go up. Okay. Wish I could see, though, dude. I can't see nothing. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to? Oh my gosh, guys. I, like, literally don't see nothing. There is a, uh, yeah, I need a torch bad. Like, I could just walk this way, but I, I don't see anything. Like, literally nothing. I mean, I need to be able to see the dang game, dude. Let me go back. A giant rat. Dude, how am I supposed to go? I can't, literally can't see anything. Dude, how am I supposed to kill anything? I can't see anything. Dude. I guess if I get out of... So there's a light shining on me so you guys can see me. I guess I can kind of see. How do you open a door? Okay, figured it out. Alright, now I can see a little bit. That's what I'm used to seeing. See how it's it's like kind of like a flat image? Okay, so... That is that is right. But man, they made some things actually 3D here. It's a loot pile. How did I do that a second ago? Nope. Do I not have a torch, by the way? Oh wait, I can equip a sword. Let's do that in this short sword. Oh wait, 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 wait. There was a uh where did I see that at? Oh that was the loot. I get it. I get it. My bad, my bad. That's how you rest. Kids get all the stuff. Now I get it. I'm, I'm an idiot. Alright. What is this? Steel broadsword. Okay, now I've looted everything. It's another broadsword. Okay. There we go. Okay, go up the steps here. This game is really hard, by the way. Torch on the floor? I missed a torch. I don't see it. I don't think you can take that. I didn't see a torch. Oh, that. No treasure. Remember this door has something awful in it, like a bear or something. No, it's just a magic imp. Jeez, I'm gonna die. There's a pile of treasure on the black altar in the room with the rat. Get okay, I did do that. Kill him! Oh crap, I'm about to die. Run away. Run away, brave Sir Robin! Oh crap, he's right on my tail. Oh my gosh, I can't see. This will be a good time to save the game. Assuming you're not in the middle of a fight, press the escape key and press on save. Oh, look, here's where I was last time. Way back on May 17th. Last time I played. Over at the game, yes. Okay, now. Until fully healed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's 
Something came for me. It's a rat. I didn't get to finish. Oh, it's a bear! Crap! Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my god. I can't see! Shut the door. Shut the door. Oh, dang it. Dang it. He got in here. I, I'm aware of there. I'm aware of that, bro. I was trying to shut the door. I was trying to close the door on the bear. Close the door! Oh, I got in! Oh, this guy! Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Can't get past him. There's a bear. Oh, I'm dead. This game's hard, dude. Cool cutscene when you die, though. I didn't see a torch, no. Broadsword is a longsword. Oh, I thought it was two hand. You need a torch. Yeah, I didn't see one. Let me let me let me look again this time. I, I'm just starting a new game. Um, we'll just run through this real quick. Okay, let's go. Let's just do warrior this time. Be more simple. Yes. Uh, okay, we'll leave that alone. Okay. Okay. Let's try to get a good roll. Mm, that's pretty good. You guys were saying earlier speed is really important. So let's bring that up a bit. Strength is pretty good. Agility is pretty good. Maybe bring that down to 60. That's pretty high, 56. Um, pump a little bit more into that. Okay, axe, long blade, blunt. Hand-to-hand, -hand archery, short blade, climbing, jumping. Okay, I um, heard you guys saying earlier that climbing would be good. Okay, let's do that, and then we'll... Put a little bit into dodging. Okay. We'll do... Probably not going to be doing archery. Um, or hand-to-hand -hand on purpose. We'll put that into short blade then. And then... Let's go... Long blade. Okay. Um, maybe we should turn this down to that. Alright, let's try it again. Skip all that because we already seen it. I don't think I do have a spell for that. Early artifact quest is part of... Yeah, whatever that means. Okay, let's see if I can find that torch jar we're talking about. I said there was one on the floor. Not in here, there's not. Thank you, Graham, for the super chat! Um, magic items. Thank you, Graham. Name my son after Torrin's Passage. For oh, yeah, King's Quest. Um... Don't have a torch. I'm pretty sure. Oh, look. I do have some armor. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? There's more stuff here than I can see or something. What's this? Steel saber. Iron dagger. Short sword. How do you... It's odd. Guess I gotta. I guess. I guess I'll put that on for now. No, um, there we go. It's Z. Oh, it's not gonna let me until you get that part in the tutorial, is it? Okay. 
Let's put those gloves on. Just now we got a little equipment on. This part is that the intro dungeon, they're all procedure generated and it gets mental. Yeah, dude. Can't get my... Can't get my thing out. I wish it wouldn't have made it so dark, dude. Like, I literally can't see. Like, in the original game, you could see. It might have had dark areas, but it wasn't like this. Like, I literally can't see. Okay, now, finally. Well, now it's not working. Oh, it wasn't Z. I, I forgot I changed it. Okay. But I can't actually dual wield. Is that pretty much... That's pretty much how it goes. Okay, let's try to run back through here. Golly, dude, this is too dark, man. Without a torch, man, this is dreadful. I'm all about having some darkness, but geez, I don't have a choice but to be here. I don't have a torch. Let's get this rat. Okay, killed the rat. Let's check this loot. That's all we got from that. The loot's random, that means. Nothing over here. Can't. I wish I could pick that up. I can douse it. It's a giant... Yeah, I already did that. Um... The door is a secret door. If you kill the rat, go back to it and click it. The door was shut, and all secret doors are just easy to see. Wait, what now? When you get to the door, just center screen, press the mouse button open. This is how you activate things. Is it talking? About the, what's it talking about? That wasn't even a door, was it? I can't see nothing. I don't know what this game's talking about. I don't. What door is it talking about? Okay, let's see if we can survive that guy this time. <clears throat> Crap. Alright, lost a little health. Oh, yeah, that's how you run. There we go. That would have helped when I was running from the bear. Jeez, it's so hard to see, man. Yeah, last time I played it, I could see. Um, Alright, now let's try to rest. Until fully healed. There's a pile of treasure on the black altar in the room. There. Okay, I did do that. Good time to save the game, yep. You have a spellcast character track? No, I don't. Okay, get our health back. Okay. Critical strike, stealth is improved. Do you only improve your stats when you sleep? Is that how this game works? Oh man, I wish it wasn't so dark. That really makes this really difficult to play. Hopefully I get a torch soon, if there even is torches. It's just a Daggerfall Unity developer making changes for his taste. There's an option or graphics to adjust the game. It would make it brighter. Yeah, there wasn't. I might be able to do it. What's that control... Um, is that it? Uh, no. I forgot how to do it. Is it Alt-Z? Yeah, maybe I can do it with NVIDIA. Let's... Oh my lord, am I getting attacked? Alright, maybe I can do it with NVIDIA. Um, how do you do that? There's a way... I haven't done this in a long time. I'm getting beat up, aren't I? Nope, it's not a supported game. What's attacking me? Never mind. I was gonna try to use. I was trying gonna try to use Nvidia to do it, but uh, let's try to take this guy out. Stupid ant! Oh my gosh, dude! How, why would anybody want the game to be this dark, though? It's just a black screen. Oh, the material. 
Close the door, crap. It's probably gonna be silver or something. God, I can't even see! Shut the door! Alright. Jeez. Um, steel, maybe? What even happened to the other thing I had? H. Okay, this is steel. Yeah, the other was iron, so maybe we can attack it with steel. It's walking through darkness. Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah, yeah, still works. <laughs> Kill him. Got him. Body has no treasure. I mean, what on the stream? Can you guys see anything? Yeah, I tried game filter, it didn't work. And there is no options in here. There's nothing. There's literally nothing. I can... If it, if it doesn't break the game, I can fix it for you guys, but I won't be able to see. I hate that sound, dude. It sounds like I'm getting attacked, but there's nothing here that I can see. Um, I, can, I can fix it for you guys. I'm probably dying. I don't know. Um... Shoot, how do you do this? Uh, here we go. Color correction. See, you guys will be able to see now, but I still won't be able to. Update later. Go away. All right. So now you guys can see, but I can't. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I've got to switch over to chat so I can see what you guys are saying. There we go. Well, I keep getting stuck on walk, too. Yeah, I turned up the gamma for the stream, but I'm still playing in darkness. All right. Oh, do you guys want me to turn it back down? It's probably because it's light. Let me just turn it off. Because there's like a light in my face. And it makes the... Okay, this is way better. Okay, let me fix it for you guys. I turned that up too bright, didn't I? Hang on. If you guys can see it pretty good, I'm going to just leave it. I think it's because that light was in my face trying to light up me. Um, what the heck is it? Here we go. I'll delete that. Okay. There we go. If you guys can see it, fine. I'm just going to turn the light off my face. Come on. Open up the chat. There we go. Alright, that is better. I know now you, can, you guys can barely see me, but... Yeah, I can't see good enough now. Oh! We got a guard. Oh crap, I'm at half health too. Ooh, I may have to run away. I'm gonna run away. Ooh, I'm gonna run away. I don't wanna die again.
Back down here, open that door. Shut that door, shut that door, shut that door, shut that door. All right. Oh God, is he coming in? <laughs> oh crap. All right, Let's see if we can rest. Oh snap, he found me. No! Oh, it's a rat, okay. Okay, 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 let's try again. Let's try to rest again. Okay, it worked. Oh, we got level two. You realize that all your life you have been coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly, face the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. Cool. Uh, we get five points. Uh, no, it doesn't have a difficulty setting. It just has like a... I turned the reaction time down, which means that things attack a little slower to give you time to think about it. Uh, it was supposed to be an Oblivion stream, Enclave. Um, it, Oblivion, we spent two and a half hours trying to get it to work, and it doesn't. So uh, we gave up. We gave up, and we just started playing Daggerfall, a game that works. Um, let's put some more into Agility and Endurance. Okay. Skills. Okay, there we go. Alright, yep. Axe, critical strike. There's some strange fur here. What did it say that for? Oh, there is loot in there. Some gold. What is that? Iron Tanto? Icker? And what's that? A toga? Where's this stuff going, by the way? Like, it's like, where'd that toga go? It did put that there, the Iron Tanto. I feel like I'm missing something, like something. I only see one bag. After stream, turn off all the programs for streaming and try believing again because it seems to work for some of us in chat. Just fine, what? Yeah, I bought off Steam and it, well, the keyboard wouldn't work. More about your skill than your physical stats. Okay, I'll try it again. That's weird, though. Sure as crap didn't work for me. You guys saw I tried everything, dude. I would love to play it, by the way. Okay. That human guard is probably out and about now. Oh, I should probably heal again. Screw that, I'm getting full health because uh, this game is freaking brutal. Okay. Let's head back out. Get back. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Got him. All right. Got a short skirt or shirt. I mean, uh, let's get that short. Ooh, got some gear. I don't care about the bow. No, no. All right. Let's equip some of this new gear. Okay. Actually, we should probably... Wait, that's better. We should probably... Um, let me press H, and that how it works. There we go. We, sh we should be better with the axe. Okay. It's like a dining hall here. Whoa! Rat! dead. Oh, something else.
I'm gonna shut this door. See if we can get a little bit of his health back. There are enemies nearby. Okay, where? Maybe in the next room? Where's the door at? Oh wow, look at the maps. Okay, there's supposed to be a door right behind me here. Oh, there is that that's not the one I came in, is it? N nope. Oh boy, it got dark again. or something there it goes whoa all right got him gold dagger chain nice jeez I can't see all right what's in here oh there's a dead body in there that's cool Oh, got an elven helm. Nice. In your inventory, if you want to see your clothing, you can see the tab on the top of your screen. Oh, there you go. Now, there is a torch in here. You light the torch. Thank you. Alright, so I got a lit torch now. There's clothes. Does it replace the... No, it doesn't. Nice. Nice. Okay. The Legend of Lovers of the Man. Oh, that's what uh, the king gave me. Okay, much better, dude. Much better. Now I got a torch going. Sweet, dude. Pro tip. Ooh, look how cool this room looks. Oh, God. It's one of those again. Uh, I need to switch my weapon. Don't have much health left. Don't die. Did it work? Did I trap him? Nope. Got him to die. Run. Shut that door. Shut that door. Shut the door! <laughs> oh, God, there's a bear. Oh, I'm gonna die, no! No! Shut the stupid door. Okay. Might have got away from him. Let's find a room to rest. See if I'll just let me rest here. <sighs> there we go. I hope the bear did kill the imp. Alright. Let's go back. This is how I always get past this dungeon. I've done this dungeon a few times. I always just run away, hide... Rest. I think it's the only way to do it at this low of a level. So the axe doesn't work on the... Uh... Hey, I'm going to switch back to it for the bear, though. The axe doesn't... Or the... Uh... Yeah, the axe doesn't work on the app. It has to be a steel weapon. Kill the bear! Oh, yeah. Grizzly Bear's dead. I think he did kill the imp. He did. The bear killed the imp. That's pretty cool, dude. Alright, what's in here? Oh, 
Oh, skeleton. Back up. Crap, he's gonna kill me. Are all these doors shut? I thought I left them open. We're on the other side now. There's definitely lots of baddies here. Shoot. Can't rest. Lose some boots. Map. Scrap parchment shows the location of the Gareham Cemetery. You recorded on your map. Interesting. Okay, now let's go back over to magic items. We do have a spell book. Whoops. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Spell book, no. Let me get away from that. I, spell book. Uh, I don't know how to open it, though. We're a warrior. We're not going to be able to do it anyway. Let's put the boots on. Okay. Yeah, it's a really crazy starting dungeon. Let's see if we can rest. Mm, yeah, I need to save. Yeah, thank you, Graham. It keeps blocking you for some reason. I don't know what YouTube is. You're just saying normal things. You say, I'm not used to following a streamer. If you are not either, like, subscribe. That's it. All right, I'm healed. Smell burnt wood. Okay, let's go back out. We found a safe room out here. Fairly safe. So we can get this guy now. Come on. Dang, this guy's hard, man. Dude, I cannot get that guy. He's gonna kill me. Can run back around. Again, geez, the skeleton's hard. I, think I might be among your younger folks. I'm in my thirties. Yes, I am also in my thirties. All right, enemies are crap. What the heck is that? It's a demon? No, no. Okay, he's just got archer. He's got a helmet on. The fuck is axe sucks, man. I'm gonna die. Ugh. Dude. It's brutal. Freaking got no health. Okay, what's back here? Hopefully not. Nothing scary. Shut that door. Okay, sweet. We found a little resting room. 
Hopefully. Oh, man, it's brutal. Oh, my gosh. Getting attacked again with no health. Die, lady, please. Just die. Just die. Just hit the lady with the sword, please. Kill her. Level two swing, go. Come on. Don't die. <sighs> Whew. Barely qualifies a millennial. If I was born a few months earlier, I'd be a Gen X. Yeah, this is a cool game. It's hard as crap, though, dude. The, but the way to do it, and I've, I've gotten past this dungeon, dungeon several times, gotten to the world, is you have to run away. You have to find somewhere safe. You have to rest. There's a lot of RNG. If there's a secret to the combat, I don't really understand it. Um, your stats and just trying to back up before they swing um, is the only strategy I've figured out. Uh, but there is a... Um, <laughs> Nathan was in his 20s, then he tried to believe it. Now he's in his 30s. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right, dude. I think that I think Oblivion aged me uh, several years tonight. I'm not going to lie. Well, guys, it's getting super late now. I'm about to pass out. Spent most of my night trying to get Oblivion working. I will try it again tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it does get way easier when you get out of the dungeon. Uh, uh, I'll, try to, I'll try Oblivion again tomorrow. I really wouldn't mind, though. Um, you just suck at the beginning, yeah. Yeah, you do. Your character just sucks. It takes a while. But honestly, if you just take your time, kill a bat, rest, kill a something, rest. It's not too bad. Um, the the you, you, You're you going to be surprised how big that dungeon is. I remember you take an elevator. Uh, it's it's a big deal. Um, and I don't think I ever even explained it all. I was pretty shocked to see those 3D maps. Even back in the day, I remember the maps were really crazy for the time. Something I'd never seen before. But the, that was next level with it on Unity. It looks really cool on Unity. That was uh, that was super impressive. So I could just play Daggerfall if I can't get Oblivion working. But I'm going to try to get Oblivion working because I played the game for a long time. And I would love to re-experience it because I love that game. But if not, oh well. Um, you know, we'll try Daggerfall and um, we'll just take our time, make our way through that dungeon. Because I beat it before. Um, not the game. I uh, beat that dungeon, got out into the world and got quests and... Uh, seen some cities and done some cool stuff so um but this fan who's taken daggerfall made it look like this dude dude that guy's freaking awesome whoever did that i'm super impressed but guys thank you all so very much i stayed up late so i could hit my goal you guys helped me smash it um and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the stream this was a really it's a really weird stream uh mostly was uh troubleshooting trying to get oblivion to work um but thank you guys so much. I can now go to sleep that uh, we're still on track uh, for me to be able to pay my bills and stuff. Uh, can't remember that much. It's been a few years. Yeah, uh, there's no secret. You just suck. Yeah, yeah, that is true. So I just need to... But I'd be cool playing Daggerfall some more, to be honest. It is a cool game. But tomorrow, for sure, we got EverQuest 2 at 2 p.m. And most likely, because everybody's going to be out of town, Cringe Pony's probably going to be pushed to the following week. I'm going to still do some recordings and get it really far along so that we can um, make it super high quality because we only got uh, episode 11 and 12 left. So uh, I'll be doing that tomorrow. Thanks, guys, for joining me tonight. I'm going to get some sleep. I'm about to pass out. Uh, and um, until next time, though, my friends, God bless and happy gaming. Bye, everybody. Thank you all so very much. Everyone have a great night. You know what? You know what? Actually, I'm not going to end the stream yet. I'm not going to end the stream yet. I'll tell you why. There's one thing I don't think we ever did with Oblivion. I said I was going to, but I don't think I ever did. Um, how do you do that? Um, it's not showing up in my... That's probably why I didn't do it. I don't see the option to. You can't run it as administrator. Here we go. Let's see. General. Shoot, I don't remember how to do it. Advanced, maybe. How do you run as a freaking... Uh, I'm really tired now. Um... I wanted to try to run it as a 
Not administrator. It will have nothing to do with it. The uh, compatibility mode. I don't see it. The determination. Dude, it just drives me nuts. I should be able to play it. Uh, where's, co where's compatibility mode? I don't see it. I don't even see the option. This one, you can, you can run that was administrator, but not the other one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Properties? I thought it was just in here somewhere. It's advanced? No. I don't see it. I don't even see an option to run it in compatibility mode. Well, anyway. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, I guess I will have to sign off the stream. I'm going to restart my computer because apparently there's some people in chat said they just loaded up and started playing. Um, go to the actual app. Yeah, well, anyway, I'm tired. I, w I am going to restart my computer, though. And see if it runs. And if it does, I'll stream it some tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to make sure it runs all the way first. Well, everybody, have a great night. I'm going to bed. That's it. I'm going to sleep. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. And thanks, everybody. Hope everybody had a great night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.